y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. It is Sunday evening. I have not yet had supper. On Sundays, I do my big, um, my big disinfect for the week. So meaning like, you know, I wipe my counters every day in the bathroom and in the kitchen and all that jazz. But once a week, I do like a deep bleach clean. Um, when I was first put on immunosuppressants, I had someone come in who taught me how to clean properly for when you're on like immunosuppressants and chemotherapy. And once a week, she taught me to always like deep clean everything. It's ironic because bleach is really bad for people with autoimmune lung issues, but it's also the one thing that kills everything. So once a week, I do this thing where bleach sits on my counters, it sits on my toilet, it sits in my bathtub, and it's just like this deep clean. You leave it for an hour so that it actually soaks into everything and then you clean it all off. Um, and then the grandmas gave me a tip and that is that, and don't laugh because I laughed. They told me to buy shout, like, you know, like the shout we use for laundry detergent. And they said that after you bleach everything, you'll be surprised, but it'll make all your white tile, my bathroom's white. And so it'll make all your white tile super shiny and the bathroom won't smell like bleach anymore. And I was like, really? It's, it's stain remover, but they're right guys, it works. It works and it does smell really great after all the bleach. So there's my little cleaning tip from the grandmas. Um, I have to tell you, I should know better than to doubt them because their place is like sparkly clean. Um, I laugh today that Linda's thrifty life is doing what I've been spending the last couple of weeks doing. And like me, she lives in a smaller place. So I pulled everything out of my craft room into my living room and then P. Whimsical Endeavors was like, don't do it that way, do one thing at a time. So Linda, if I had known you were gonna do that, I would have given you the advice that P. gave me, but it was too late by the time P. gave it to me. I did the same thing. And now I'm down to my last, I have one chair left, that's it. But it took me two weeks of working on it every day, Linda. So I feel your pain. I loved your crazy hair today. Um, I'm super excited. So I got off uh, Rosalind's die cut swap. Um, according to priority, it should be there we're hoping Wednesday, but I bet you I won't get there till Friday based on the pattern of when uh, priorities mean arriving. But I was really good. I didn't open this until um, this weekend. And I told Rosalind I was gonna open it this weekend. And look how pretty it is. I just took it out of the tissue. This is my first time seeing it. Oh my gosh, Rosalind, you made a book. And y'all, this is a different kind of book than I've made. And look at the back, created with care by Rosalind Cobb. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is adorable. And it says, meet me with the die cuts, May 2020. And she put my name on it. I'm gonna put that up on my board, Rosalind. And look at this darling dangle, y'all. Oh my gosh, Rosalind, it has a little butterfly on the edge. And then it has this amazing castle trim, which has organza and lace and some of that summer daisy lace that I love so much. Oh my gosh, and the front is a shaker and look y'all at sunny days. This is sunny days meet shabby. This is what I'm saying y'all, look at this. This is sunny days meet shabby. I'm so excited by this. And Rosalind did like an octopus die cut on the front and these, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm so excited. This is my first time holding like a shabby meets Maggie Holmes. It's so, you know, Donna's done something like this Rosalind and it was really cool but it's my first time holding something like this. So y'all look, she used, this is so great. Look on the sunny side, she used Maggie Holmes paper, but she made it shabby. Oh my gosh, and the sequence mix is so beautiful, y'all. It's got starfish in it, and these holographic shells, look at that. And that's just the cover. Oh my gosh, and it's a different kind of book. <gasps> and she put baby rickrack, y'all, on the edges, and it looks really cute. Okay, Rosalind. I'm super impressed with how you built this. I want to show everybody. Don't be upset. You know what happens, guys, in the mail? And you know what Rosalind did that was really smart? She grommeted it. And she put a grommet and a book ring through. And that was smart. I'm going to tell you why, Rosalind. Because in the mail, the glue came apart. But don't feel bad. I can re-glue that easy. I want to show everyone what you did because it was super smart. Look at this, y'all. Check it out. Oh my gosh, see, see what I mean, Rosalind? It's just the glue from the heat. Don't worry, I can fix it. And there's pockets here, and she made them out of envelopes. That was so smart, it's a double pocket. Look at this, y'all, it's a double pocket. Oh my gosh, Rosalind! This is such, oh, and inside of the cut aparts from Sunny Days. Y'all, this was so clever, look at this. What a fun way to send these. Oh, this is so innovative, y'all. I cannot wait. All right, I'm gonna put it on my lap, but I wanted you to see the pages. 
because what Rosalind did is she made like a pocket letter and stuck in all the summer pieces and then built, look at this y'all, and it says surprise inside and there's a pocket and then there's a policy pocket. This is such a cool design. Oh my gosh, Rosalind, I'm so excited. I'm so sorry. I want to show everyone that way first. I'm so excited. All right. So let me show you first what's in those pockets in the front. So we're going to open them together. Oh, I'm so excited. You did such a creative thing. Oh, Rosalind, this was so nice. I sent you something like this too. That's really sweet. And you know how handy these are for making Maggie embellishments? Oh my gosh. And I don't have these ones. This was so nice of you. Oh my gosh. That's, and look at the beautiful glassine bags, guys. So summery. Oh my gosh. This is so inventive. And look at these cute envelopes she made. Oh, I have an envelope story for y'all. Wait till I tell you the story. You're going to laugh your heads off. I told Cruz, oh, you got them all for me, guys. Look at these. Oh my gosh. And they're all, they're all in gold foil paper and summer colors and Maggie Holmes. Oh, y'all, this was so nice. Wait till you see it. It's like layer. Oh, Rosalind, look. Oh, folks, this is so thoughtful. It's all in coordinating Maggie. And you should see, she, Rosalind even did watercolor paper. That Now, that is thoughtful, y'all, because that means, like, she's been paying attention. You're going to hear a bit of a scrape sound because I'm going to put this right next to me because I want to put everything back neatly. I love this design, Rosalind. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I've been saving this as a treat to open, and it's such a treat. All right, y'all, let's see what else. Oh, and the doilies for just right now. You know what was really nice too is Rosalind wrote to me and she asked me, like, do you want some and just some white cardstock? And I said, yes, please, because it'll, and you remembered. Okay, so you see how thoughtful Rosalind is? I just want to say this because she wrote and asked me, did I want some and white cardstock? She didn't tell me what. And I said, yes, please. And she remembered that I didn't have my small doilies here and she die cut me out a whole bunch. This was so thoughtful of you. This was so thoughtful. And look at this, y'all. Oh, that's going to be fun to play with. That is going to be so much fun. And you did so many doilies and so many different trims because you know from my bookmaking. This was really thoughtful, Rosalind. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This is really something. I mean, I was wowed by your design, but also what you did. So now I want to share with them so that they understand how much work this was for you because I don't know if they'll know unless I show them. Okay, y'all, see how each one's like a pocket, like a pocket letter? Those are mini envelopes. And inside each one, Rosalind has tucked something. So I want to show you because this took a lot of work. This was, like, this is actually amazing. Because each envelope can be reused for a pocket letter, which is exactly what Rosalind was thinking. So it's a gift. <gasps> and there's flowers in this one. And again, she did a whole mix. So she did, like, some I could color myself and some that, like, she did some in pink, but some also in white, so I could spray them. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like having an advent calendar. I almost want to save one to, I may want to open, I might open one on camera from each row and save the rest to open this week as a treat every morning. What a great idea, Rosalind. You know what you just taught us? Y'all, we could make advent calendars out of these. That's so smart, Rosalind. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. When I get an idea like that, it's like really exciting. And that's all because of you and how you design this. All right, let's, let's see what's in this one. I'm so excited. Oh, you stamped little, look how small these seahorses are, y'all. Oh, and they're so teeny and you fussy cut those. Rosalind. Oh, oh my goodness. Am I going to have fun using these? I cannot believe you can really fussy cut if you can fussy cut that. Oh. You did them all in minis. Look at these, y'all. There's little starfish and little shells and little dolphins. Oh, this is like opening up a Christmas calendar. Oh, this is, guys, this is so thoughtfully done. Like, wow. I'm kind of blown away. Wow. All right, y'all. You ready? I'm excited. Each one. You sent me the campers. I, okay, this is the die I don't have. I have not found. Rosalind, I'm going to email you, I, first of all, to say thank you. But also, I have to know where you got this. This is a mini camper, y'all. Did you resize it on a Cricut? It's so cute. Oh, and you 
I did the camper. Thank you so much. She asked me what's the one day I don't have. This was really nice of you. Like, and the fact that you resized it too. Oh my gosh, and it comes with all the little pieces, y'all. She sent me all the teeny little pieces. Look, look. Where did you get these teeny little bags from? Oh my gosh, I have so many questions now I have to email you. Rosalind, this is like really inspiring. The design is so inspiring. All right, let's open up one more because there's this really cute girl and I can't help it, y'all. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this and she comes with a hat. No, really. Oh my gosh, Rosalind. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at her. You're a good cutter. Either that or you have an amazing machine because these are perfect. Like, it's cut to the hairline, y'all. Look. Look at them. And she comes with hats. Look at all the different hats. It's like having paper dolls. Oh, my gosh. Rosalind. Okay, so I have another eight to open, but I'm going to open, like, two um, in my morning videos because I think this is, like, a treat. Like, you built this like a surprise. Oh my gosh, you did New York. Rosalind, this is so thoughtful. Folks, you got to see this. Oh my gosh, I got to show it to them. How do I get this one out? You really put a lot of effort into this. It so shows. Oh my gosh. Look. This was... What a surprise this was, Rosalind. Honestly, I'm blown away. All right, y'all. Let's go into the other big pockets. <gasps> Look at this. Look how pretty, y'all. And I don't have this stamp at all, Rosalind. I love these layering stamps, guys, that you can build things in. I was just working on something fun for Jelly Bean, just a little something. Um, do I have it here? No, it's over there drying. But it's a building stamp, Rosalind, like this, where you can build up images. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You did such a great job. Oh my goodness. Okay, so oh, bag toppers. That's what we're in the surprise inside packages. Let's take a look at them, y'all. And this is so much fun. The way that Rosalind built this makes this so much fun to open. It's a really great design, Rosalind. I'm just blown away. It's a really great design. Oh my gosh, I don't want to rip the bag toppers, guys. But she put in all types, so I want to show you. My hands are giving me a hard time tonight. I don't know why. Maybe I use them too much. But I have my trusty Tim Holtz scissors here. So give me a second. I got to ruin the bag, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, Rosalind. This was so much fun. Oh my gosh, you really, look at this, guys. A little one in the sunny days, but then you have this big one. See, I think you must have a Cricut, right? Because you can resize everything perfectly. Look at this. It's a bigger one. And then like skinny little ones, which are really nice where you can just attach it to a bag. That's a really, that was very thoughtful. And look, all with bows, all cut out of sunny days. So I have never had Sunny Day Shabby before, let alone a design this innovative. Look at this, y'all. I'm so impressed, Rosalind. I cannot wait to email you. I'm so impressed. Like, this whole design is, like, amazing. All right, and we're not done yet. I'm just keeping everything together just because I want to put everything back properly. All right, and then there's another envelope, and it's closed with a sticker. If you remember, it said surprise inside. That's our last one, but there's a bit of a hint. Oh, <gasps> you did not. It's the fairy dye from Tonic. Oh, Rosalind, this was really something. I cannot wait to email you. This was, like, really one of the most innovative things I've ever received. Like, this is... Y'all, this is Rosalind Cobb. I'm going to put her channel down below, but you got to take another look at what she designed. Take a look at this. Is this not inspirational? Like, it's shabby and maggy, first of all, and it's perfect. And look at it. Look at this design. And then I'm just going to remind you what she did, because I think it's so cool. Look at this. It's like an advent calendar. And then those back pages. So well designed, Rosalind. You just blew me away with this. I love it all, but I especially love how innovative you were. Oh my gosh, I'm sending you an email right now. I want to say thank you so much to Susan Titsy Tucker for hosting this. Thank you to Rosalind for inspiring me with so many ideas. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Like, look at these minis, y'all. I'm putting Rosalind's channel below. You got to get to know her. You know, she has a smaller subscriber base, but definitely, did you see this, y'all? This design? This is amazing. All right, I'm going to put her channel down below and then I'm going to go email her.
Thank you so much, Rosalind. I love it. Thank you, Susan, for hosting the swap. I'm missing next month's swap, y'all, just because I don't have Halloween dies here. And I'm sad to be missing it. This is one of my favorite swaps to do. So thank you so much, Rosalind. I hope you like my design too. And I hope it's half as much fun as that was for me. I really do. All right, y'all. I'll be back on Zoom with our last view of the day, probably, uh, which will be our angel cards. Bye for now.